Four, let's start with a nice Singaporean address. Let's start at 635A Pasir Ris Drive. Great. And we'll look this up just to show that yeah, we do we have all the information, we have all the HDB blocks and everything. And uh, one interesting thing that we had to do as we were building the maps for Singapore is Singapore has this uh, unique situation where a postcode maps directly to a building and a building has a single postcode. So we actually had to build some special things to handle this, uh, this unique piece of Singapore. Now, okay, let's go from here and we're planning to take our, our trip. So I'm going to click on directions here and I'm intending to go, let's type harbor front. Get directions. Now here I've got a couple of choices because it's, it's not completely clear what I mean when I type harbor front. I could mean the harbor front MRT station, harbor front center, or there's even a shop that comes up in this case. That there's even there's a set of more businesses if I wanted to look underneath for that. So I'll go to harbor front center, because that's where I tend to meet my friend. And what we get here is a driving direction. And I can even adjust my starting point slightly if I need to. What we actually end up with is a set of different routes that it calculates. So this is a, these are driving directions calculated and it, it approximates how long it would take. So I could take the KPE, East Coast Parkway, CTE, different options. Now before I set off on this trip, why don't I check the traffic? Let's have a look what that looks like. Great. Now in this demo, because of course the next thing I have to do is, is find an excuse to take a, a, a public transit trip. So the ideal thing in this demo is to say, oh, the traffic's too bad. But actually in Singapore it's hard to find a good example where there's very much red on the roads. Uh, so here's, the, here's what our, our traffic system uh, traffic looks like. Now all of this data is the raw data belonging uh, provided by probes from the Land Transport Authority. And a Singapore company, Quantum Inventions, who's an expert on traffic and traffic routing, is doing the processing to provide the data for us. Now, if we take this, uh, I can look at what the traffic is like now, but in case my trip is later, I can actually click change the traffic at date and time, and I can see well, what's the traffic likely to be Thursday, and let's switch this to, say, more rush hour. There we start seeing some more yellows and reds. So this information is derived from historical data trends as we've collected the traffic data and we've been able to average it out over time. So we can make predictions uh, on average based on past conditions to find out what the traffic is likely to be like in the future. Okay, so that's great. Well, I'll tell you what, let's not drive after all. Let's take public transit to get there. So what I'll do, we've got here public transit as an option or in this drop down I could also choose public transit to take that same trip, I'll click get directions, and now this is all of this data is provided to us by the Land Transport Authority, it covers both SPS and SMRT routes, uh, and what it does is it'll, um, it, it, they provided us the data including the routes, the times, what the trips are and so on, and the Google's uh, international routing engine is able to compute optimal times between the different locations. So in this case, it's offering me two choices. One of them is I can take the 81 bus and then go on the northeast line. And here's another option where the different bus leaving from the uh, similar, but like, depending what time it goes. And you'll notice for each of these, I can see all the different stops and, and each one. So we can see here at uh, 11 minutes to make the transfer, service runs every six minutes, that sort of thing. And before I set off, if I want to, I can make sure to print these out and take with me all the step-by-step -step, uh, where I'm planning to go. Okay, so I've got my route, why don't I set off, and then I get, while I'm on the subway, while I'm on the, or the bus, or uh, transferring the MRT, I get a phone call from my friend who I'm planning to meet. Let's have him up here for the demo. Okay. Cool, we could, uh, we could switch to the visualizer. Go. So, as, uh, my name's Derek Callow, I work with, uh, with Andrew, I head up, head up marketing at I get super excited about, about this, A, because I love technology, B, uh, is so I always get lost, so two things. Um, so if, if we go through that scenario, then I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to meet Andrew, and I want to see if I can access the same stuff on my phone. And so by going to m.google.com.sg slash maps, I can actually download an application, but for a lot of people, if you're on an Android phone, uh, if you're on an iPhone, you probably will have already got the, uh, you will have already seen the, the the application, but if I go to m.google.com.sg, it actually sees here that I already have maps, so it says, why don't you launch it now? So what we do, 
is if we go back here, you'll see this icon down the bottom. So I click on this and I launch it. So what I want to be doing is actually, um, I, want to go and, I want to go and meet Andrew. And we've got this cool thing on Google Maps called Latitude. And what it enables me to do is actually link up with my friends and see where they are on Google Maps. So uh, I do a lot of cycling and maybe I'm a little bit lazy and I, I, I don't want to go and meet him. And I'm like, Andrew, how about you meet somewhere closer to me? But first of all, what I want to do is I want to see, I want to see where Andrew is. So we've set this up that I can actually see him. He's in Serengu. So then I'm like, okay, so en route, on the subway, on the on the, on the way. Yep. And I'm like, you know, I think mobile phones are great, but sometimes it means that people don't always keep their appointments. And I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm running a bit late. Let's change. Now, with technology, enables us to do that. So. I'm actually over in, uh, in Bishan by Marymount. So I'm like, Andrew, how about we meet over there? But in order to kind of sell this to him, I need to be able to give him some information that says, actually, it's quite easy to get there, so I'll give you some information. So then, with Google Maps, I want to do a search. Um, and so, uh, actually, I don't want to do a search. I want to get directions. And so, I can either do it from my, from my location, but actually sometimes it's easiest just to point to something on the map, because I'm kind of a visual kind of person. So Andrew's there, and I just want to select this point. Right, so that's the start point. And I want to go and put to where I am as the end point. Cool. This is actually my phone, so if my mum rings, I, 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 I won't answer and I'll get in trouble later. So as you can see, as Andrew mentioned, uh, on the desktop you can choose um, you know, by car or taxi, by public transport, and also by walking. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll select public transport here. So it's going to give me some transit information on how I can get there. And you know, it, this one's quite cool, it's, it's, it's fairly simple. So what it gives me is, is uh, gives me a 22-minute trip on the circle line. I can also, for example, similar to what Andrew talked about on the desktop, I can show earlier and later trips, but you know, let's just have a look and see what it, where it says. So it gives me a, a, a five minute walk to Serangoon, circle line, get off at Marymount, and, 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 and my rough estimation is Shulkin Road. So uh, let's have a look at that on the map again. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, and because he's kind of going to be angry because I made him change his directions, I figured I'd buy him lunch. And, and so again, to, to what Ed said, a large part of this information is, you know, he said close to 50% of searches have got a location related to it. And, and I'm all about food as well. So what I want to do is, is you know, go back to my location. And then I, I want to do a search because I'm going to have to buy him lunch. So let's do a search. And I'm not really sure what's around, so I'll just put a search in for a restaurant. You saw Pasta Brava because I, I, I had dinner there last night, so... It, it was not bad as well. So what you see here is, is what it's done is it's thrown up, my location is my little icon, it's thrown up a bunch of different restaurants. Um, and both Andrew and I are big fans of chicken rice. So, you know, this one pops up as, as one good option. But, you know, there's a lot of different pins around. So I think what I might do is click this one here and it will give me a list of all the different, all the different restaurants. But let's have a look at, let's have a look at Namki chicken rice. Now, there's a couple of tabs you'll see. And so these are some fairly functional things. I want to see it on the map. I want to get directions. Um, and this is where businesses see a benefit of this because it, it helps people find their locations. But there's also some interesting stuff. As Ed and Andrew mentioned before, you know, we really are the platform. And LTA has been a phenomenal partner to give us the transport uh, related information. But we work with Street Directory for our business listings. And it's not just about the business listings, it's actually about some of the softer side of things because there's a lot of different restaurants. I want to see some reviews. You know, favorite chicken rice store, Porcus Enterprises, the place is really old. That kind of sounds quite cool. Um, and so, so you know, I'm, I'm, kind of, uh, I'm kind of liking that. So I think that that's where we're going to go. So then I, you know, chicken rice for 50 maybe <laughs> might work. Um, so I'm back there and, and you know, I'm interested as, as I'm waiting for Andrew and, and I think he's going to take public transport but he's thinking, you know, I might jump in a taxi as well 
Um, and so then what I, what I, what I want to do is, similar to what we mentioned before, I also, just out of interest, maybe want to look at the traffic as well. So again, this kind of stuff is accessible on the phone, you know, as it is, uh, as it is on the desktop as well. Great. Cool. Thank you very much.